Good job. Hancock and Hamilton right behind that pack of three as they go through 204 through 700 meters. Aiken, Stacey Forrest, her, Maggie Gannon, Katrina McAllister, Ally McManus, Katie Ellingson, Ruby Roberts, Rosa Del Toro, Bailey Myers, Grace Padilla, Caitlin Love, Jessica Jenicky, Maddie Ross, and Louisa Lingley in this section six of the women's 1500. Atkins from Hawaii. And Ross from Grand Valley State out in front early. And Gannon and Manon running third and fourth. Trying to move into that third position. She will tuck into the fourth position. Ashley Atkins from Hawaii continues to lead, opening up about two meter lead. That's Allie Manon from Richmond now into the second position. And Ashton has now opened up a bigger gap here as we come up on 800 meters. On, 70 seconds on the last lap, 70 and 70, 220 through 800 meters for the Hawaii athletes. Ali Manon continues to run second. Del Toro running third. And Maggie Gannon from Iowa State in the fourth position. Making a big move here on the home straightaway. McAllister moving on on her as well. And we go through Bell Lap. Ashley Atkins continuing to lead and opening up a bigger gap. Looking to hold on to that for her, this, her final lap. Let's go, Jamie! Come on, Jamie! And a little bit slower on that lap, almost 72, 332 through 1,200 meters. McAllister moves into second. Del Toro now into third. Now into second she goes. And Ali Bannon into third. I believe that's Gannon into the fourth position, trying to make the move into third. And everyone's now come up on Atkins, on the home straightaway. Rosa Del Toro, now into the lead. The athlete from Long Beach State, making a move for the 49ers. And here comes Maggie Gannon. And it looks 
like we had an error up here. Roosevelt Toro does run at 427. Katie Ellingson runs 427.91 for second. Mann in 429.19. Atkins from Hawaii, 429.63. Meyer, 430.11. On your mark. This is our seventh and tenth section. Allie Thomas, Alicia Wright, Ashley Meyer, Duke Wicks, Medina, Breedis, Samantha Johnson, Shelby Junault, Shalise Walker, Maria Bernard, DuBose, Eisenhower Winger, Ogin and West are our scheduled runners here in Section 7 of the Women's 1500. Now early is Eisenhower Winger. Ogin and DuBose into the second and third positions. Eisenhower Winger through an under 70 seconds. Oh, the both one of those runners in that chase pass. <laughs> and West moves into that second position now. The both tucked in at the yellow jersey at four. Eisenhower Winger, our leader from Utah Valley, wearing hip number 13. Perfect, Kelly! Perfect! As now our winger followed by West, and then she's followed by Diana Medina from Southern Utah. Ardiz from Richmond in fourth. And DeBose continues to run in the fifth position in the yellow top. Coming up on 800 meters as they pass the pole vault pit. And right around 221 through 800 meters. With Eisenhower Winger doing all the work on her own with a good five meter gap on the field. West and Medina running second and third alongside each other. Made a move for second from Saginaw Valley. She's now into third. But as we come up on 1200, Eisenhower Winger continuing to lead. And now making a big move is Shalise Walker from Utah Valley. Right through at 334, 335. And coming up on 200 meters to go as they come enter the final third. <laughs> Alicia Wright, Saginaw Valley in the lead. Also behind her, Samantha Johnson from Ferris State. 
Callie Thomas making a big move on the home straightaway. And she made a challenge for that lead. Oh. So Alicia Wright will be our winner at 426.27 here in section 7. Callie Thomas finishes. Last call, all men, 1,500 meter runners, please check in. This is the last call or you will be trapped. All men, 1,500 meter runners, last call. On your mark. and off the early lead. Jeff 
between fifth and the Big 12 indoors. She's got a big finish here. 418 unofficially. Dugan will come up strong to finish third.